right, here with Shelby. We support the volleyball team while they play and they support us while we play. Have you seen us play in Kalamazoo? Uh, briefly, but a lot of the games overlap, so not as much as probably wanted to. Gotcha, but obviously you've seen us play here. How much of an impact do you think it has on our team and your team being able to play these games you know, in South Africa against these teams that we travel so far to play? I think it's really big um, that a sport can bring people together in a way like this. We can travel the world and we like speak the same language like through our sport even though we don't speak like the actual same language and we can connect with different people from different places um, through that. So it's really special to be able to experience that and then watch you guys experience it as well. Fire is away there, burning all my people. That was fire in Angola, I'm burning all my people. Here today with Alex. Where are we? We're in the District 6 Museum. It was a South African community. Uh, that was uh, people were evicted from their homes by the government. Uh, it plays a really huge role in uh, South African history, showing differences in politics, uh, socioeconomics, um, and racial issues that happened here in South Africa. So Alex, um, what's the significance of this museum and District 6 as a whole? Uh, the significance, I would say, is well, this is a place not only uh, to staple in history, but um, more for the people that used to live here. Because when the government decided to take everybody's homes away, uh, this is the place where people who used to live there can come back and get their homes back, basically. Uh, behind me is where they, uh, they show the map of District 6, and uh, the people who uh, uh, demolished the homes uh, kept the street names. And so you also see the original street names behind me, and they created a map on the ground, and uh, people can come back and write where they lived or where their families lived or where their loved ones lived, and, and kind of like, uh, just, just go back in time and to reclaim sort of their home, basically. Uh, and anyone who, who doesn't have their name there now, who wants to come and write their name, they can peel off the, the plastic and write their name where they used to live. People that come back here to to reflect on what happened to them, uh, they write their thoughts on this wall. And uh, to be honest, uh, what's surprising is that a lot of these families they forgive uh, what happened in order to move forward uh, with their lives and to benefit um, the future generations that come. Back. La terre.